What's up guys, welcome to today's video. It's a beautiful Saturday out and the homie Jay-Z Raps is flying in from Texas to wrap this pig. So it is all prepped now, all smooth, a few little dents, dings, nick, spots were clear lifted from the old wrap, all cleaned up. I'm about to go drive her over to the wash bay to wash all this dusty grime off of her and then put her in the shop where she's gonna get some love and get a beautiful new wrap. So right now the whole car has been pretty much prepped with 400. I've just been going over every panel with my hand, feeling for any little rough area, and then just kind of cleaning it up very, very lightly, uh, just to make sure that we get the best possible finish out of the wrap. It looked great before, but since we're redoing this, I want to be OCD and have it absolutely perfect. So I am going a little bit crazy with trying to make sure everything looks perfect. All right, you guys might remember Jay from Texas that saved the day on the FD car Sir. when we needed some livery help. What are you doing in Florida? Repping greatest of all times, Chaser. <laughs> I don't know if I said greatest of all time, but yeah. it's, it's gonna look great. Yeah. So, Jay hit me up. Uh, we've been talking ever since Texas, and he mentioned me want to come out and wrap a car. And the Chaser just, you know, the wrap was getting a little old. I wanted something new, so. Had to get it going. Yeah. yeah. So, talk to me. What are you doing here? What you got? Got a nose attack right here. A nose attack dandelion yellow. Uh, very high gloss finish on the wrap. Doing a full color change on the Chaser. Should look sick especially with the crazy body kit and stuff we got on it. So he's been helping. He already filled a couple little dings yeah. that were driving both of us nuts. So overall, I mean, body work was dialed in, but a few little pinholes and stuff, just put some putty on it. So, I mean, overall, even even it being a 90s car, it's gonna look mint when it's done. And I've been, I've been scoping your Instagram. I see you've been like wrapping yeah. Lamborghinis and yeah. so <laughs> this is a little bit of a departure from something like that. Hey, not, not even, bro. It's, it's still up there and like, Exotic work is what I would like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, the, the chaser's flattered, but yeah. um, I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked to have you here. I appreciate and... the opportunity. Man. Yeah, man. Yes, of sir. course. Stoked to see you do your thing. So I only got a tease of this thing in the uh, in the wet, and I want to feel what the power feels like because I wasn't really a good judge of the power band. So we're out here. It's about to rain. We have a few minutes to mess around, so we'll give it a quick one-two down the, the good old drag strip. Pretty spicy. <laughs> Dude, this thing rips. It's it's cool. It's different. <laughs> that was kind of neat. That huh? was awesome. Yeah, this thing's it's spicy. It doesn't, I feel like it doesn't hit as hard as my S13, and I think part of that is just being a little bit on the conservative side. But it has such a meteor mid-range, probably because of the VCT. Yeah. I'm gonna do that again and then I'm gonna go by the shop and do a little slidey boy. The ZF <laughs> this CD out of the water. I hate CD shifters with a passion. Spinning all through third. Yeah. I missed, I kind of went in the reverse gate a little bit. I gotta learn how to shift better. This thing rips. And it's starting to rain. All right, let's see how she feels out of like a little handbrake dig second gear. Feels very good. Still a little partial throttle stuff that we'll clean up on the dyno. A wide open, this thing is very meaty. Not needy, needy. <laughs> shifter uh, I think I don't have full engagement in second gear so it pops out on its own I think there's like a little thing underneath that I just need to grind that's what happened there you thought I broke a transmission no popped yeah. Out? Like, yeah it just popped out on its own damn. I'll try it again
in case you're wondering why I'm using normal rivets and not riv nuts, one of my biggest pet peeves ever is when you see like a bunch of exposed hardware on an overfender or something. I'm usually a firm believer in as minimal rivets as possible. If I could and this fit really well, I'd probably twist put one here, maybe one here and one here. But with this car and all the dents and stuff, you kind of have to use them all. But I would rather have tiny little rivets that you can wrap over or paint over and then have like painted rivets that don't stand out than have like big flashy Allen bolts. Um, only thing I guess it kind of makes sense on, on the FD car, we will actually pull off the entire fender to access some suspension components. But on your normal everyday car, if you're doing a wide body or something, you're never gonna need to unscrew it off. And like drilling out a rivet isn't as hard as you'd think. And look at how much like lower profile and clean that would look. You'll see once the wrap is over it, it's like, you barely even notice it's like a little pimple. Using this as an excuse to do a little front end surgery, I found the piece finally to replace this little flimsy boy and these guys that have probably seen one too many crashes. So I'm gonna do that, clean up some of this junk over here. Make everything nice again. All right, so we are about to be using Griot's ceramic headlight restoration kit. Can't put the old stinky headlights on the car. They actually look good at one point, but they got kind of yellow after I think we spilled like gasoline or something on them. It happens. Uh, anyway, Mike's used this kit before. He said it worked great on the Supra. He's gonna coach me through it. I know it comes with uh, ceramic Cerico, some fancy stuff so you don't need to clear them when you're done and they'll actually last because I've never been a big fan of restoring headlights just because of the fact they usually come back to looking like trash in like a week or two. Um, but mics have lasted really well and I'm excited to give this a shot. Usually people don't take their headlights off the car either. They kind of have instructions for you where you would tape it on the car. Mike did his on a super that way. But we're drifters, so we like to take things apart. We are wiping away the oxidation. You'll actually see when you do the first step of this kit that the yellow will actually transfer right onto the pad. Sometimes you'll notice it a lot. Sometimes you'll not really notice it that much, but it definitely takes away the easy stuff. All right, so just off the oxidation remover, you can see that the headlight is that much clearer uh, and you can see the pad is quite disgusting. And now it's on to uh, grits, so thousand first. Thousand grit first. You're basically gonna go through the headlight until the runoff that you see is not yellow anymore. All of the sanding mixing with water and soap and stuff. Also make sure to either go side to side or up and down and always switch between grits. That way your sanding scratches aren't all in the same direction because it'll show. So this is what the headlight looks like after the thousand grit passes. You can see all these sand scratches are in horizontal. So now our rags are running white. There's no more yellow in the rags. So now we're gonna switch to 2000 grit and go vertically. And then for 3000, I'm gonna go horizontal to just kind of, you know, make sure everything's uniform, no overlapping scratches. I'm like halfway done with the 2000 grit and you can still see some vertical lines. So I'm gonna go over it again, uh, just to make sure we don't have any more of the horizontal lines from before, before we go to the next grit. All the lines are vertical, so now we're gonna go to the 3000 grit. This is the missing step whenever I've restored headlights in the past. I've never had a ceramic headlight coating. But I guess last time I restored headlights was probably before ceramic coating was even a thing. So, <coughs> Whoa, that stuff's- It's strong. Yeah, wow. And it works quick. That is some gnarly stuff. Yep. Single pass, single direction, and overlap. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. 
через два года. So many panels put back on my car, so we're gonna go buy the entire store full of adhesive. 
down, dude. You think she's checking me out because the Barra? Or because the big bird mark on the fender? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> color combo but in the Honda world it's not all that uncommon uh, the mag blue on yellow I saw it on uh, I think it was like an Integra up in the Smoky Mountains and I've seen it before but that just kind of sold it for me and um, I don't even remember how we arrived at yellow for the color of the car I wanted it to look sportier and have more of like a uh, kind of like a track look versus like a VIP look and I've just really been liking the families of yellow oranges and reds wanted to do red if I did red it would look like a power vehicles car or a rich white man so yellow it is and we'll see how the mag blue looks on it. Might need to add some spacers or dial in the fitment a little bit. God, these things are heavy. The Krens look so good on it though. I'm probably gonna need to put it back on at some point. Well, fitment, actually, no spacers for me. Yup. That's actually, uh, it seems a little more sunk than before, right? Yeah. Just a tiny bit? I would say. Definitely looks aggressive. It needs a side skirts. Right now it looks like a yellow Camry taxi <laughs> on some wheels without center caps, man. I hate wheels without center caps. I need to get center caps. I'm tired. I have a flight out at 6 a.m. Not like tired, but like you know the anticipation of when you need to get up early the next day so you start to feel extra tired even though you're not. <laughs> that me. Go to bed. I wanted to see what my car looked like, but I think I'm gonna need a dip and you're gonna have to send me photos tomorrow. Like... Okay. Not a hundred percent sold on the mag blue on the yellow and ironically we held one up against the s15 and i think the mag blue might end up looking better on the green and the white looking better on the yellow but i'm gonna see it through i think it'll look cool it'll give it a little more of an aggressive track look but we don't wait to find out how's fitment looking mike fitment check mm. i feel like it could probably use a 30 mil instead of 25 mil spacer but it's hard to tell without it on the ground i think you'll be happier with this once it's lowered yeah, I'll jack it up and see what it looks like. Yeah. I think it looks good. I think it'll look good once it's in the sun, though. And the kit's on. Yeah. I did a spare grill in satin black to see what it looks like with the yellow. Uh, Jay and I were talking about wrapping the chrome trim in like a satin or a gloss black just because of the fact that a car will be more of like a dark, aggressive thing. Um, but if this doesn't look good, we'll just leave it chrome. I know the car would look sick with the chrome wheels, but I'm trying to switch it up, so let's see how this looks. Hmm. Uh, I feel like it needs the chrome. Yeah. It doesn't look terrible, but I mean, maybe with the whole bumper and everything on, it'll look like, I mean, either way, we have the option to choose, but I don't know if we should do the black trim. Went from a chaser to a Avalon. Okay. <laughs> Checking in. Jay's working his magic. Jay, yeah. thank you again, man. No problem. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. It's taken him a little bit longer than he expected. Yeah. The, uh, these kits have quite... A few edges. A few things you had to work around, but nothing we couldn't get done. I'm bummed that I'm not going to be here to see the finished product of the car. I have a flight tomorrow morning at like 6 a.m., but uh, Mike's going to be here with Jay, and he'll get some shots of the car on the ground and see what it finally looks like. I'm excited. I'm super appreciative. Yes, sir. You're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, right? Yes, sir. So if you guys need a wrap, you know who to hit up. Jay-Z. And can I, can I tell them where your name came from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, no. One Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> One Jay-Z has 300, baby. If you need more reason to support him. <laughs> That's it. There you if go. you got a Jay-Z, you know he's cool.
Lots of vibrations, not a fan of that. The shifting. Dare I say teeth.